Research Context How we do research, theories, hypothesis, paradigm, assumptions, biases, safeguards. The Context of Research Empirical investigation in any field, requires the use of the scientific method, to observe, measure, and experiment. Research of a topic, can be divided into two major phases that usually occur in sequence, and outline the context for the specific research. Getting an idea, or context of discovery. In this phase, observation, belief, general knowledge, or information, lead to a new, or a different way of thinking about a phenomenon. Researchers use scientific theories, testable hypothesis, and creative paradigms to unravel the solutions to problems. Take note, external, and internal biases, can distort the findings. Testing the idea, or context of justification. In this phase, ideas are tested and either disconfirmed, or proven, and then the results are prepared for communicating to others. Scientific method is used to get accurate data, and reliable evidence, for generating valid conclusions. It is a general set of procedures, for gathering and interpreting evidence, in ways that limit errors, and yield dependable conclusions. It demands special attitudes, and values in researchers. Also, researchers must maintain objectivity, by various safeguards, to generate reliable results, that can be repeated in similar conditions, by independent investigators. What is the role of theories in research? Psychological theories, in general, attempt to understand how brain, mind, behavior, and environment function, and how they may be related. Scientific theories, attempt to explain some aspect of the natural world, based on a body of facts, that have been repeatedly confirmed through observation and experiment. The value of a theory, is often measured in terms of the new ideas, or hypotheses, that can be derived from it and tested. What is the role of hypotheses in research? A hypothesis, is a tentative and testable explanation, of the relationship between two or more events, or variables. A variable is any factor that changes, or varies, in size or quality. Mood may be a variable, since people's moods may vary from one situation to another. Test performance is another variable, since a person's score may vary from one test to the next. What is the role of paradigm in research? Using the correct paradigm helps us to understand complex processes. A paradigm is a model of the functions and interrelationships of a process, a way of thinking about the world and how to study it. Entire field of knowledge can change directions when new paradigm challenges existing ones. When paradigms shift, revolutions of knowledge usually follow. Researchers begin with certain assumptions. Determinism, all events, physical, mental, and behavioral, result from specific causal factors. Behavior and mental processes, follow set patterns of relationships that can be discovered, and revealed through research. The ordeal of proof. Before a new theory, hypothesis, 
or paradigm makes a difference in science. It has to undergo an ordeal of proof. Most often this happens when researchers publish, or make public, their findings, and other scholars investigate whether they find the same patterns in their own data. This process of publication and communication, moves scientific research into the public eye, where ideas are tested and proven. Research Biases The ideas and beliefs of an individual, are often linked with certain biases, because they are influenced by the individual's opinions or values. While doing research, it is important to remain objective, and free from any such biases. External influences, such as one's culture or the media, can influence people to accept a particular worldview. A variety of biases have been found to distort people's impressions of collected data, these are, personal bias, observer bias, expectancy bias, and placebo bias. Personal bias Personal beliefs, attributes, or past experiences that distort estimation or evaluation processes. Observer bias When some events are taken as meaningful by some, and not by others. Considering the researchers are raised in certain cultures and societies, they are exposed to certain gender role expectations. These background factors, can affect the way researchers observe, and interpret events in their lives. Expectancy Bias Researchers often expect certain outcomes, this affects observations by causing reactions to the events being observed. Unfortunately, if one is not alert to the possibility of expectancy bias, observed events may seem discovered, instead of created by the observer's expectations. Placebo Bias When people strongly want to believe a treatment is successful. For example, Many people claim to feel better after taking a placebo, like a sugar pill. When outcome involves a subjective judgment, that is, how a person feels or whether pain has reduced, the desire for a drug, or therapeutic method to work, may be enough to achieve the desired result. Objectivity Safeguards in Research Process These are measures that must be practiced by the researchers, to ensure objectivity of research process, and its outcome. Procedural Safeguards Include keeping complete records of observations and data analyzes in a form that other researchers can understand and evaluate. Scientific reports have a similar form of communicating ideas to the entire scientific community opening them to criticism. Standardization This includes using uniform consistent procedures in all phases of data collection. All subjects should receive the same instructions, and be treated in the same way. This ensures that they will have the same basic experience. Operationalization This means standardizing the meaning of concepts. An operational definition of a concept defines that concept in terms of how it is measured, or what operations produce it. Avoiding bias Bias from external influences, personal beliefs, observers' perspectives, and human expectations can all distort data. Researchers use various control procedures to avoid such biases, and test hypotheses, in ways that are fair, and error-free.